नमस्ते एंड वेलकम अगेन टू प्लेनेट टू सोल एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो फ्रेंड्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वंडरफुल एंड यस टुडे आई हैव कम विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज वेरी मच कंसर्न टू अवर सेवेंथ हाउस ऑफ चार्ट आई हैव सीन दैट यू नो मैक्सिमम ऑफ पीपल आर वेरी मच फॉन्ड ऑफ सेवेंथ हाउस एंड सेवेंथ हाउस रिलेटेड मैटर्स ऑल्सो दे आर वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड टू नो अबाउट नवमांश कुंडली सेवेंथ हाउस मैरिज मैरिटल ब्लेस एनीथिंग कनेक्टेड टू सेवेंथ हाउस पीपल आर शोइंग मोर एंड मोर इंटरेस्ट एंड दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑल्सो बिकॉज इन अवर प्रेजेंट लाइफ यू नो टेंथ हाउस एंड अवर सेवेंथ हाउस आर द मेजर एंड नॉन अवॉइडेबल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ अवर होल लाइफ साइकिल दैट इज वाई वी हैव टू बी वेरी अटेंटिव and alert towards this two houses very much apart from that 6th house and 12th house because many people are not giving that much importance to 6th house 8th house or 12th house of chart specifically 6th house which is considering our health status so unless and until you are making your 6th house powerful in terms of maintaining your immunity maintaining your boosting power and maintaining your resistance power how you will flourish your 7th house and your 10th house of chart that is why we always say if there is a health there always is wealth because there are many ways to earn wealth if there is no health even though you have many ideas but you are not able to implement those ideas so friends this also we all have to keep in mind and very soon i am going to make video specifically on um, health house or disease house or diagnosis house of our chart but today i am going to discuss about seventh house seventh lord through different houses in navmansh kundali see uh, what happens that i have already i think i have made one video on it but when we are talking about seventh lord in navmansh kundali then definitely this is indicator of your personal marriage relationship and personal marriage talks because we all know that navmansh kundali is sukshma sukshma bhav or sukshma element or minute element of your marriage house so when seventh lord goes in different houses of your navmansh kundali how it may prove you or how you can interpret it so maybe this i will call it as a part 2 so your seventh lord in navmansh kundali wherever and whichever house and with whichever planet it is positive that plays very very important role unless and until you know this importance of planetary aspect planetary position with your 7th lord you won't be able to judge your 7th house or 7th lord related matters no doubt in lagna chart also you have to see all these things without fail but when your 7th lord is becoming benefic planet and posited anywhere in navmansh kundali that gives one assurance that definitely there are many many chances in your life for having a good marriage this is just a superficial generalized statement i am doing and if it is a malefic planet that doesn't mean that you are not going to get married or you do not have good marriage but if you have malefic rising seventh lord in your d1 chart then definitely you have to see that whether my seventh lord is getting aspect of any benefic planet or is posited with any benefic planet in d9 or in d1 chart also so both the charts at that time particularly we have to assess compatibility is half done without assessing d1 and d9 d30 everything has to come into action now manch kundali reading is not very easy task 
explaining may be sounding very easy or um, you know but when you try to implement those things when you try to interpret those things then definitely somehow it becomes little bit jumbling or little bit confusing because we have to know so many diktas so many verses of our shastras and then we come to conclusion that no i am not able to understand all these things so friends if you are seeking any type of uh, consultation services specifically for your navmansh kundali please go through my website planettosoul.com and definitely you can access the service and you can um, just go ahead with that option so whenever your seventh lord is posited in your first house of navmansh kundali that means the navmansh kundali is saying that your whole life is centering towards your seventh house and unless and until you have your partner your spouse your sathidar or the person work wise also marriage wise also unless and until that person enters into your life there won't be any type of uh, you know or we can say it that there will be slow moving growth in your life or other words we can say that always you will be lingering or always you will be having thoughts of your spouse only that how and when this person will come into my uh, life and definitely this seventh lord being in your first house of navmansh kundali definitely will be aspecting your own seventh house of d9 chart that means that already somehow somewhere you know this person through your family or friends that is one of the very important factor you have to judge if your seventh lord is going in second house of navmansh kundali then definitely second house is considered as dhanasthana or finance house so your seventh lord that means your spouse will always be more concerned about family wealth as well as accumulation of wealth and if it is a benefic planet then it is good but if it is a malefic planet then definitely as i said before you have to see that whether any benefic planets are aspecting this seventh lord or no because second house falls eighth to your seventh house this thing also we have to consider and eighth house to any house become maran sthana or randra bhav of that particular house that is why enhancing your benefic powers of your chart becomes mandatory or very much necessary to get marriage bliss or to get marriage bliss and no doubt this seventh lord going in your second house will always uh, make your spouse mingling with your own family than his family if this seventh lord is going in third house of d9 chart then definitely maybe you will get your proposal through your siblings and also spouse will be very much courageous personality after your spouse enters into your life your fortune will enhance unless this is a benefic planet or with benefic aspect if it is a malefic planet then definitely some stressful or struggleful conditions will be there in your life but when the benefic mahadasha will start for you then definitely some soothing fruits also you will experience your seventh lord in fourth house of navmansh kundali definitely indicates that your spouse will be very much emotional and very much sentimental personality with having lots of sentiments with him this fourth house is our emotional travels to so definitely your spouse will be more attached to you in terms of taking good care of you no doubt it is malefic or benefic planet if this seventh lord of d1 is going in fifth house of navmansh kundali then definitely past life connection of your spouse cannot be denied or i have seen in many many charts that somehow whenever you meet your spouse or meet that person you feel that yes i know this person from a long long time and then you go along with that person but, but you know when in this cases when sixth house is also getting involved then somehow even though you know 
that I know this person from a longer period of time or or you are in that relationship from longer period of time but still it is uh, getting broken or it is not sustaining for a longer time that means sixth law or sixth how connection is definitely coming into action that means this is your prarabdha it was destined that this person will come into your life not to stay forever but to take the rinas what we call as pending deeds or pending desires if your seventh lord goes in sixth house of navmaish kundali again same thing the prarabdha house is getting too much activated here and here we see that person is more attracted towards that person who is finding uh, like spouse's quality but at the same time always quarrels always some type of misunderstanding and you can say that i cannot stay without you and i cannot stay with you this type of situation happens to such people also some or other type of health issues job issues financial issues and uh, you know debit debits will be more on that person than credits that means that you have to be very aware about this planetary position and yes jupiter position has to be assessed in such cases if your seventh lord goes in seventh house of navmaish kundali then we can say that after your spouse enters into your life your seventh house becomes more activated your public position your public image name fame fortune will always follow you and your spouse will be more indulged in you and this person whatever happens will never leave you or never never leave your hand no matter what conditions arise in front of you maybe you will stay abroad or away from your hometown or home state if seventh lord is going in eighth house of navmaish kundali then definitely we can say that you will be more attached to your in-laws than your spouse second thing here again we have to see whether your seventh lord is benefic planet or malefic planet whether it is with exaltation debilitation enemy sign friendly sign see these all are mandatory things to see in any chart reading no matter which divisional chart you are reading so seventh lord in eighth house of navmaish kundali also indicates that you have deep down runanubandh that means pending deeds towards your spouse and all of a sudden your marriage will get fixed but during your marriage just keep in mind whenever you are fixing up your marriage maybe it will happen suddenly without intimation without uh, uh, invitation and maybe people will not be around you whenever you are going for this marriage this this could be love marriage or in such a situation that you cannot approach many people at a time or some or other uh, like you know uh, memorable uh, things happen during your marriage if your seventh lord goes in ninth house of navmaish kundali as ninth house is also your bhagya sthana then definitely after marriage or whenever you are finding your partner you feel that i am the fortunate person on this earth right so here also we can consider that your spouse will be god fearing spiritual personality and after that person enters into your life your spiritual element will also get enhanced also your spouse may have good connectivity with your parents and definitely good guidance to your parents or through your parents your spouse will definitely get if your seventh lord goes in 10th house of navmaish kundali then definitely spouse will be more professional more workaholic person and always considering a job work and always wealth always your spouse will try to cope up and maintain good relationship with his employees and his employers and also with subordinates or her subordinates definitely 10th house also indicate that you will find your spouse at your working place this also cannot be denied 
if your seventh law is going in 11th house of now manj kundali then definitely your spouse will be first your friend and then becomes your partner and then becomes your spouse also through your friend circle or through your uh, elder siblings friend circle you will find your spouse and you will be more like a friends than spouse like you know there will be more of communicative uh, system between you and your spouse and gains will follow you after your marriage happens this is one of the good position and if it is a benefic planet then i give this fantastic like uh, 90 marks out of 100 if it is becoming a benefic planet posited in 11th house of your naumanj kundali if your seventh law goes in 12th house of naumanj kundali then again foreign resi residing spouse or international connection of your spouse is definitely indicated one more thing here we can consider that deep down somewhere spouse will be more concerned for giving services to public may be connected to public services hospitals asylums hermitages ngos definitely some or other way your spouse will come into connection also here again i will say that functional benefic planet or the signification of that planet definitely has to be seen that depends that creates how your marital bliss or how will be your pleasures with your spouse and definitely if it is like a good planet in a good sign then definitely you are bound to get good marital bliss even though in your chart there are late marriage yogas so this was all about your seventh lord of d1 chart in different houses of naumanj kundali next time i will come with another topic by that time do not forget to subscribe and share my channel stay tuned with planet to soul astrology and as i always say sabka mangal ho may all be blessed namaste